In this video, I'm going to talk about the Learn Worlds blog setup, how you can actually get going with your blog, and of course, add some posts to it and change it up a little bit. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave a link down below where if you click that, you can get a free trial for Learn Worlds, or if you're already a part of them, if you're using Learn Worlds, you can use that to log in. So here we are going to be on the left side. If you go to Site Builder and then click on Blog, this is usually the first thing you want to do. And what you can do is you can enable your blog, make sure that's on. This is where you're going to be where you're editing your blog. There's multiple ways to get to it, but this is an easy way. We're just going to have the blog name for the homepage. You can add a description for SEO purposes if you like. And we have our blog RSS feed down below. After you're done with that, make sure you click on save. Everything for me is good to go. So let's click on edit blog. So first and foremost, we're going to have a blank section here. We can always edit this as needed with their drag and drop editor. But what I want to do is first add a blog post. Of course, what we want to do is add a blog post. As you can see up top, there's going to be sections where you can add a new blog post or there's going to be a section there. So if I click on this, we can do create a blog post. So we have a couple of templates that we can utilize or we can go with empty. Really going to be up to you for this specifically. I'm going to go with this one because I like the fact that there's a picture there. Okay, and we have our post title. What I did is actually use AI to write content very quickly. So I'm just going to get that title and description for you. All right, so here we have it. I have the benefits of YouTube marketing for online business. Can't see it, just for online business owners, just because it's cut off there. Uh, why you need to start using YouTube for your online business. We have our slug of YouTube marketing. For the image, I actually went with Unsplash. The cool thing about that, let's see if we go to change here. You can just go to free picks and it searches through Unsplash. That's exactly what I did. If you have your own, you can utilize that as well. Uh, right now, it's just going to be a draft until it's public. And of course, everything else looks pretty good. Let's do create post. All right, so now what we can actually do is go through with each of these sections. So I'm going to open this up and this is going to be the article that I had created. And let's copy this. And all we need to do is oops, go in here and we can delete all of this and add that in. OK, let's get out of there and we'll scroll down. So for the next section, I don't know if I got the headlines for this for like each specific paragraph, but I'm just gonna add it in one by one. Once again, let's get rid of this. Okay, and if this was gonna be the headline, you know, maybe it was like benefits of YouTube. They might be in there. I just, I pasted it into a notepad, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It's more so just kind of showing you how it works. Okay, so there we go. YouTube is cost effective. That would have been the headline there. We could also keep it as, you know, benefits how it is. Scroll down. Once again, we can do that. And of course, we're going to need some more. Oops, did I? Okay, I did paste that in. So, and we can go to the duplicate button. So, in case you need to add more, let's slide this down right here. And same thing with this right here. Once this is highlighted, we can just duplicate this text section and let's scroll this down. Perfect. And let's go back over here. And I'm just going to do one more. I think you get the idea, right? When it comes to just duplicating, adding more content, it's overall a drag and drop process. Okay. YouTube builds trust and just like that, something like that. Okay. So let's exit out of this. We can quickly look at it here. We can do save and let's preview it real quick. Okay, the benefits of YouTube marketing for online business owners. Okay, and so on and so forth. Like I said, don't need to do the whole article. You can if you want. Well, <laughs> if you're actually doing it for real, you know, do the whole article. Okay, so let's get out of there. And let's say we were finished with that. What we can do is head on over to here. Notice how it's going to be red. That means it's not like live and good to go. Let's go to post properties. And what we can do is make it public and then save and close. There also is going to be post info, some other stuff. A lot of the stuff we did before, uh, SEO, automatically extract SEO. So let us automatically decide your blog post metadata. In such a case, the fields below will be disabled. Okay, so um, if, if you're good with that, you can keep it how it is. And we have top bar and footer. If you want to change that, if you want to show it, if you want to have no footer or no top bar at all, that's going to be up to you. But the biggest thing here is making it public. So let's save and close. Yes. Okay, perfect. Now what we can do is actually take a look at it. So let's go back to the blog homepage. 
And you'll notice now this is going to be here. So we can edit this a little. If we click on the edit blog post cards, uh, we can take a look how many blog posts do we want shown there. Okay, so you can do so that given the fact this is your homepage, that's going to be up to you. Depends on how many you really want here. You know, four is good. You can do a little bit less, a little bit more. You can do new window or same window. Uh, we have some filters here and so on and so forth. But what I'm going to do is just save this here. We have our categories as well, seeing, seeing that's YouTube and let's preview it. Okay, so if we click here, we have our article that we just created. Not too bad. So there's one more thing that we can edit to as well. Welcome to our blog. So check out our latest articles, something along the lines of that. And of course, we can just do save again. And what I like about Learn Worlds is their drag and drop editor is pretty good. Anything you hover over, you can see is that, you know, what you can edit. So you can double click here and edit it, or you can go here and edit it. Like I've done both in the video, that's gonna be up to you. If you wanna move something, just make sure this icon shows up. And then of course you can do that and so on and so forth. And it pretty much comes down to whatever you click on, there's gonna be more features that you can utilize. We got some actions, layouts, effects, if you wanna get super spiffy that way. But all in all, that's gonna be how you can set up your blog with Learn Worlds. So if you already have a course, you have some traffic, you have an audience, or maybe you just want to put that there. So if someone doesn't buy, what you can do is talk about in your articles, the courses that you have. It's another great way to kind of like pre-sell or get some more information about some of the courses or information that you're going to be selling. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to check out Learn Worlds, my link will be down below in the description for the free trial. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.